Hi, Ari Travis here. Just want to give you guys a little disclaimer. Um, kind of messed up last well, this video. I uh, forgot to uh, unmute my mic. So today we are. Uh, I'm going over the video again just to kind of chat about what's going on. Last episode we uh, slayed some Alpes in Winter Spring. Today we were doing a, a quest called the Blood Red Key. Strange Red Key. Small red key seems to be made of some kind of bone material. It is heavy in your hand, but appears very fragile. Why would a member of the Shadow Council have such a thing? Perhaps there is something within Jadenar that this strange key unlocks. So we have to search through Jadenar and find where we want to turn this key in. So just to uh, further explain what happened, um, pretty much I did the video and... Uh, I forgot to unmute my mic. My mic was muted. And um, so the video didn't have any audio. So I'm bringing, I'm pretty much doing the video again. But I'm just speaking over it this time. So this isn't really like me in the moment. Just so you know. Um, this is just me voice overing the video. Because uh, I want the video to have some audio. You know what I mean? I don't want to just give you guys a video of me speaking muted that'd be terrible so i'm just gonna you know do a little voiceover of the video and uh i'm gonna go over this quest i'll tell you what i was uh thinking and saying while i was uh doing this quest so right now we're heading over to uh the song flower i wanted to see if it was corrupted or not the one right near jaden r so we're heading over to jaden r as well because we want to uh do this blood uh, blood red key quest. So we're checking out this uh, song flower and this ooze decides to attack us as usual. I haven't fought a ooze in a while. I'm gonna take him out here. And then uh, yeah, we take him out. Then this priest comes out of nowhere. Drops a shadow word pain on us. We try to go on him a bit here. I get, I give up. I'm like, this guy's level 60 with some nice gear. There's no way I can just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. So I try to bail. And uh, I feel like I'm pretty successful here. Running away. He dispelled the hot off of me. Next thing you know, I see him on a mount. So I'm thinking to myself here, I hope that guy to my left doesn't slay me. So I'm going to go stealth behind this tree. Try to stealth behind this tree. What, is, what does he do? He AoEs. Gets me out. This guy really wants to, to take me out. And then right here he throws a grenade. Throws a grenade right at me to finish me. I don't even think he had to throw it. He had a power. I mean he had a. He had a dot on me. So I thought that would have took me out. And then right here I'm raging. Raging a little bit. Complaining about priests. Pretty much saying that they are the. The most hated class in Classic WoW. They dispel people's buffs. They're really annoying to fight one-on-one. -on -one. But uh, they're probably fun to play, I was saying, too. And I was also just explaining how like he was pretty geared. That would have been a tough fight for me. And I could tell that he had uh, engineering as well. So He had a lot of tricks up his sleeve to take me out. But it is what it is. That's just the way WoW is. You know, when you're on a PvP server, there isn't much you can do. You just gotta roll with the punches and, uh, and just deal with uh, deal with the level 60 geared players when you're in level 60 zones. But that was an interesting way to, to start the start the episode. Was just to go out to Jadenar and get ganked by a priest. It was pretty rough, but we got over it quick. Let me get back to our body pretty soon here. It's a long walk from that graveyard. It always sucks going to the graveyard. It's always a pain. Get a little salty, that's for sure. I was salty at this moment. Not as salty anymore as I was. Kind of a shame that I don't have the audio for it, but I was a little upset that he took me out. But it is what it is. 
But yeah, it's a shame that I couldn't get the audio, guys. I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. It's my first time making this uh, mess up. I think that's I'm doing pretty decent for, you know, 411 episodes. I only mess up the audio once. So I'll make sure it won't happen again. That's for sure. So here we are. We're going over to, uh, to our body here. We're going to res up. We're going to head over to Jade Nar. Here we go. Buffing up here. We're going to head over to Jade Nar. Have a little drink. Then we look over to our left here a little bit. I don't know if you guys can notice it. I'm not going to point it out yet. But we notice a corrupted wild blossom. Which means we're going to be able to use ourselves and uncorrupt the plant in Felwood finally. Been waiting for this for quite some time. You have found a sickly corrupted version of what appears to be a wind blossom plant. The berries that hang from this plant appear to be rotten and poisonous. It desperately needs some sort of atten attention if it is to be turned back to normal. You apply two Cenarian plant salves to the wind blossom. It immediately begins to shed its corrupted form, blossoming into a vibrant and healthy plant. And there we go. We got some XP for doing that. And then we see what we get inside. And we get some item, and it's called Wind Blossom Berries. And what they do is they give you health, and also they give you 10 stamina after you eat them for, I believe, 10 or 15 seconds. So now we're heading off to JDNR to find out what we're supposed to do with this key. And look what we find here. We find another priest. And I think it's time for us to get revenge, guys. So we're going on a lecture here. And uh, put in some work. Fears us for some reason... The dot got us out of the fear. We run up to him. We put a rip on him. Five point rip bleed. He's pretty much done here. And yeah, we got some revenge. And then I pointed out, like, goes to show you how much, you know, I guess four levels does. I think that priest was 52. I'm 56. The last priest I fought was 60. But not only was he 60, he was a raid geared 60 priest with engineering. So. It's hard to mess with those guys. Now we're going to make our way into Jade Nar. We're creeping in. I think I felt like dealing with this uh, Jade Nar Guardian. I want to get a little bit, a little bit of XP while we're walking in here. I always like to, you know, use my energy. If you got energy, you might as well use it. Moving in here. And here we go. Going down into Jade Nar. It's been a while. It's a big place. I was surprised how big it was the last time we went here. I got kind of uh, interested in this this dead fell hound on the ground. It made me think there might be more alliance in here. I'm getting kind of cautious. And then I see uh, we got a little exclamation point right here at the, the cage. Looks like I got to deal with this Jadenar Legionnaire. If I want to speak to captured Arco Naren. So we're getting a little battle here with this Legionnaire. It's still a decent place for me to come to. Like, it looks like the mobs are like 55, 53. Still can get some decent XP. There we go. We take him out, get our silver, and we have a little chat with captured Arco Naren. What brings you? So cold and hungry, my poor friend. I hope you found peace. I can't stand to think about what they could have done to you. You, you there, please. You have to help me escape. One of them has a key. Can you find it? I know they have it. If you get it, you can help me get out of here. Trey is probably already dead, but there's still time. Please, can you help me? 
Check out a strange red key quest. I begin to wonder if I'll ever escape this cage. It's only a matter of time before they sacrifice me to whatever demons they worship. The monsters. Blood red key. The key you found, please give it to me and I can finally escape. So we give her the key and we get over 5,000 XP, which is pretty nice. And we decide here that we're going to be doing an, uh, an escort rescue quest Good next luck, episode. Man. That's going to be the plan. And I uh, just want to tell you guys, my bad for messing up on the audio. Won't let it happen again. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.